guys. Yeah, Trapir name is Santander, town of Santander. So we're here at uh, Liloan Port. There's a ride here from Mual Boal. Took about two hours. So now we're just waiting for our ferry. I believe that may be the ferry that will take us across. They have one that leaves every 30 minutes to go across to Negros Orient. And the ticket for two people was 270 pesos. Schedule. Low on across and from Cebula. Thirty-five, which includes the terminal fee. Just waiting for our fare. Here we go. Off to Duma. Get me. Loading, loading, loading. Thank you. After about 30 minutes on the ferry, we arrived in Sibulan Port in Negros Oriental. Darwin, Darwin. Yes. I don't think the tricycle will go all the way to Darwin. Why? Maybe there's a taxi. Uh, Ivy's Dive Resort. Ivy. Off to Darwin. Hopefully not too much longer. Maybe 40 minute, 30 minute ride. <laughs> so this was something that was a surprise. When we got there, they told us that there were no taxis available to take us to Darwin. So we had to take a, a tricycle. Um, and it cost us 800 pesos to get to Darwin from Sibulan. Later, we were able to confirm that the price that we paid for 800 pesos by tricycle was for about average. Wow, I was pleasantly surprised to see um, the roads here were so clean and wide, unlike other provinces that I've been to. I can't say enough good things about the staff here at Ivy Mays Divers Resort. Ma'am May, Rose, and our dive master Romel and Kim um, they just did such an excellent job of taking care of us. Here are some of the prices that they offered for scuba diving certifications as well as the different dive sites around the area. We just arrived and done our check-in here at Ivy Mays Beach Resort and paid 5800 pesos for three nights slightly over a hundred dollars for the three nights and this is our room it's got a patio here up in the front and further out is the beach they offer tours to different parts here for scuba diving including apple island I'll show you the prices on those. But this is the room that we reserved. It's good for two. It's got a double bed. Um, air conditioner, which is really cold right now here. 
and the restroom is over here. Pretty spacious. Hot and cold shower. Nice tiles. Fairly clean. Got cabinets for your clothes. And then a refrigerator to a few to put a few items in here. Free coffee. It's a relatively small dive shop, but they're pretty complete of their dive gear for certification or if you just want to rent it out. For the coconut, like get hit. No, up there. Oh, they harvested the coconuts. Those are bean bags, and those. Are... Is there a name for this beach? Along here. Yeah. Poblacion District One Beach. Okay, I'm blogging. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Leave nothing on the beach but your footprints. I agree. You keep the beach clean. Uh, it's for all and everyone to enjoy for generations to come. Mm, making friends already. What's their names? Yeah, all male. They're twins. <laughs> Just taking in my first sunset in Darwin. We really enjoyed it here in Darwin. We in fact uh, went ahead and extended our stay for an extra two nights. So in total five nights we stayed there. Plus I just couldn't pass up the chance to dive at Apple Island. get some free coffee which they offer here the resort good morning hey. your security guard here <laughs> what's your name uh, Albert. Albert Mark hey, it's okay it's okay Please. I'm gonna get some coffee uh. own kitchen you, you can use you want to buy your own groceries, a refrigerator, and then uh, you want to cook your own food, you're welcome to use their stuff here. So that morning I decided to take a stroll along the beach and see what's going on with the locals and um, saw a bunch of people gathered at the other end wanted to see what was going on. They were all carrying uh, bags of small fish. I was uh, curious what those were. I was hoping to get a better sunrise. Looks like there's too many cloud cover. People buying fish. Almost being brought in by these boats. They must be using some type of net. These two boats right there. I bet you they're using a net in between them. 
for just dragging it across. See what they can catch. It's all the ruckus. That's what they caught. Um, just recently moved from Texas. Yeah, what is this? Just like a little fish. Little fish? What do they, they eat? They eat? Yeah, we can eat. Oh, okay, I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah. It's like this. You can do like uh, this. Oh, you eat it raw? Yeah. It's so oh yummy. my gosh. Yeah. Can I see that again? You, you just eat it? No. How does it, it How does it taste? No. Yeah. It tastes like... Like um, a little salty. Uh, yeah. No bones. No bones. No bones. Oh, good morning. Oh my god. I eat raw fish here. Straight off the boat. This is where you are going to control your BCD, the inflation and deflation of your BCD. Now, calling it, that part intermittent. Okay? By pressing the deflator button and blowing air at the same time, and then you release to trap the air inside. Okay? So, like this. Deep breath here. Good. But you can also use that to deflate your BCD by pulling the string. Right here. Okay. Heard that? Okay. You heard that? Good. And then you also have one here. You call this your kidney duck valve. Okay. Your turn. Second, ang Atubangan sa imong tanki. Ah, so. Ana siya. Good. Watch your fingers. Good. First stage and your second stage. Your tank, when it's full, it produces or it stores 3,000 psi of pressure. Okay? Or 200 bar of pressure. Now, Breathing from that pressure is very dangerous, okay? So that's why you have your first stage to regulate the air that will come out. Yes ma'am, how much for two nights here, please? You're not, you're an imposter. <laughs> you don't work here. to the outside of your lips like this letting the excess escape. <laughs> yes, okay, go ahead. No, no, it's okay. You're good. Thank you. You're welcome. I was so proud of Sheila for completing a tough course. We celebrated her achievement with the other folks in the resort. We had uh, the dive master on the left, Romel, her instructor, uh, Justice, and other folks in the resort. Now she's licensed as a recreational diver, and one of her first dives will be in Apple Island a very popular dive site among the divers community. Wow, as they say here in the Philippines, sana all.